is, it is the, I'm holding this over here because I don't want to show it yet. It's the 2nd of January and I just wanted to show you a piece I've been working on. I spent the majority of the day or the afternoon working on this. There's still something missing about it, but I want to show you guys something. Um, I don't know if everyone can see it or not, but there are two faces, one right there and there's another one right there. I did not do that. The brush of the clouds that came with Procreate did that and I thought it was kind of neat and I just felt like if it came there like that it needed to be there so it's gonna stay there so <laughs> it's a little bit uh, a little bit odd but it and it's not even matrixing really it's there's literally two faces in the clouds that I've just made and it is very odd but I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, other than that, whoops. Other than that, I haven't really done anything. But tonight, I'm going to work on a few lapel pins. I've got, um, this is an old sketchbook that I, I showed it on my um, channel a long time ago. Um, but there's a few things in there that I really like. I like how this one here turned out. And I really like how this picture turned out. So I may try to recreate something like that for maybe a lapel pin. I don't know how well detailed pictures are going to turn out. But uh, this uh, has a lot of Copic work in there. And if you're interested in it in mixed media, mixed media, multi, multi yeah, multimedia, um, by Canson, the black cover, it's not, um, it's got 140 pound paper in it. It's not just regular, regular paper. And, um, not, I, a lot of, not a whole lot of people enjoyed my fruit fly, unfortunately, but I thought it turned out pretty good. And, uh, there's just some other things from videos that I did before. And uh, this one right here, I really like this piece. I did this one December 28th, 2016, so it's been two years, um, over two years since I've started this book. It's finished, but uh, yeah. And this is my little uh, avatar for the down in the corner of my videos. It used to be there. I haven't really checked to see if it was there or not, but I was going through this and I was thinking that maybe there were some things in here that I could possibly recreate I don't know um, it was an idea but I do have my Prismacolors out and I did go and buy some sandpaper the other day and it's all down in this area down here but I'm gonna uh, turn my lamp on um, try to finish doing some stuff with this and um, like I said I'm keeping the faces I'm sure this is a collaboration for Friday for the 4th of January but this video is gonna be out the, like the art video is gonna be out before the studio vlog is out on Tuesday, so um, yeah, it's it's okay if I show it to you guys. But I don't know. I, I like the way it turned out. Um, I just I feel like there's something missing, so I'm gonna go and think on that. And I'm just gonna wait to see how many other people notice that there are two faces in the clouds. It's kind of freaky to me. I don't know. I didn't try it. It wasn't meant to be there. But uh, if you really look, there's like another one right here, like a nose and an eye. So that could, that could be matrixing, but it kind of just looks like there's like three faces right there. It's really odd, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go and get some other things done. All right, guys, so I just pretty much finished what I was going to do with this piece. And I just added in a couple of moon phases on the top and on the bottom to signify that it's like a new moon type thing for like a new beginning. Because that is like, a, I, think, I think I mentioned that it was the um, theme for the Art Addicts Alliance video. But I'm done with this piece. Um, I just wanted to keep it nice, quick, and simple. I know it's uh, not as detailed as it could be. But the only other thing I did change is I did add in a bit more clouds right here to... Uh, um, that went behind those two faces that were there. I didn't erase them. They're still there. Um, but I also did work on something else and I'll show you guys the, I guess, the speed drawing of that uh, in just a moment.
the pen that I created yesterday. And whoops, this one right here. And of course, you guys have already seen this one, but they're already listed on my Etsy shop. I am working on, um, I'm going to be doing Alice, Alice Absalom, uh, Cheshire Cat, and possibly the mouse and the rabbit. You know, the crazy rabbit um, and the the, uh, the rabbit with the watch as well. So that's the other characters I'm going to make. Um, like I said, right now, these I'm not making a second one. So once these sell, that's it. I'm not doing these again in traditional medium. Um, but like I had mentioned before, I do have uh, I, I have printable um, shrink film put in my Amazon shopping cart. So I'm going to see if maybe um, if I get some of that, I can do some digitally. And then I can do like a recreation if someone plays is in order maybe wants one so that's where I'm heading down with that um, I didn't I don't think I showed the sketch of the Red Queen actually these are a couple of the other things that I was trying I, I don't even know what I was trying to make with this but these were I was trying to do some little um, cartoony things more or less cartoony than what I usually do and I wasn't really feeling it and this was kind of what I was going for with the Red Queen but I'm like you know what I'm gonna do like a chibi or chibi type thing uh, instead and uh, this is you know this is what I came up with but yeah so that's how things are going I'm gonna go if there's cat hair everywhere oh my um I'm gonna go and try to do some more illustrations and uh try to get that other piece that I wanted to do for the collaboration up for Friday so that's the plan for today I also wanted to mention um if someone's watching this in our curious as to how much work actually goes into making these pins. These take me roughly about three hours to make and I'm only charging $10 Canadian for them and I'm not even going to get $10 on when I make the sale because Etsy has to take their fees and then some of the shipping costs needs to come out of that as well because I don't think I'm charging enough to cover the shipping costs but we'll see what happens but I have to draw the um, draw the image I have to put the image on my iPad and fix it digitally then I have to print it put it on the shrink film I have to you know traditionally color this with pencil shrink it glaze it package it there's a lot to it so I just wanted to include that because I know some people are going to say well it's really too small to be paying ten dollars for but there is a lot of work that go into these and then you know the materials and everything as well and I'm only you know in the end when I sell them I'm probably only going to get like seven fifty to eight dollars a piece for them but I enjoy making it and I just wanted to clarify you know what exactly goes into making the uh, the little shrink film uh, lapel pen but if you're interested and have any more questions, um, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll be sure to uh, answer any questions that you have about them. done since the last time that I vlogged. So this is my little mock-up for my Alice pin and sticker, I guess. Um, but I'm going to end up calling the vlog done here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I don't know if I'm going to make Friday's video or not, so I do have to go out of town. So I'm not sure if there will be one on Friday. Um, but if not, then I'll see you guys again Tuesday of next week. And uh, hope you guys have uh, a great week, and I'll see you in the next video.